lot of people have said, Mike, why do you wear a helmet now? Well, you know, protect my head. Uh, but you never wore a helmet before. I said, but I do now. Get used to it. This is, for me, a, a, just a natural evolution of, of who I am as a street skater. I looked at what I was doing. I was an artist. I was creating. I was expressing myself. I didn't see where uh, safety equipment factored into that idea. It didn't make any sense. I do think it's evolutionary. I do think it's about progression. When we set out in the streets, we were pushing. We were pushing boundaries. We were challenging everything. We were questioning everything. Does that, that stops? No, that doesn't stop. This isn't some like right in this moment thing. This has been something that, I, that has been on my mind and something I've been thinking about for a long time. And at a certain point, the helmet conversation has to be had. People don't want to talk about it in the sort of core skateboard culture because I think they're afraid that it somehow means that they're not core anymore. That, that, that they have become a sport, or that they have become athletes. The platform has been given to me, the opportunity has been given to me to represent a helmet company that is standing by me, that is allowing me to be me, with no overarching pressure or anything. If I had a real wish with all of this, a real hope for what this means would be kids who are starting skating now, who are wearing helmets now, that they'll just stay in them. That the peer pressure will be reversed. It'll be like, if you take the helmet off, you're doing something wrong. After 30 years of skating, be involved in something that could affect not just the next 30 years of skating, but till the end of time in skateboarding. That's how significant it is.